to say to the pound for pound best fighter in the world, Alexander Volkanovsky. I didn't see this short guy. Bring him here. The lightweight on the line, pound for pound number one on the line. Let's do it. Once I stepped foot in that cage and had that face off, I was that fired up. Got got home, like, let's get to work. Straight off the plane. Do you know how long that damn flight is? Got off there and the kids were at school. I was like, fuck this, I'm going to the gym. So I went to the gym and that's just, just how, how I am. And I'm like, we got the dietitian working on the plan. I've got strength and conditioning happening and I'm eating over 4,000 calories a day, which is hard. I, I never thought I'd complain about eating too much food. The main goals of the, this camp, the main priority is to go in a lot stronger in, in this fight. Compared to the other camps where we've needed to be a bit more explosive, we've really tried to maximise our strength for a lot longer through this camp, and then we'll focus on a bit more explosiveness closer to the fight. Trying to maintain the, the strength a, a lot longer into the camp. So normally as the camp starts, we try to taper off a, a little bit in terms of the volume of uh, the intensity work, the, the heavier lifts. Uh, in this camp, we've had to keep those a little bit higher throughout the camp to try and keep the strength for uh, as high as we can for, uh, for longer into that camp. That strength block was, it went for a while, a good eight week maybe program, maybe more of just a bulking strength base where because we're not really bulking now. We, we put on the weight that we wanted, we put on the strength that we wanted. Now it's about leaning out and getting to a good weight, fight weight. So I'm gonna start leaning out. If I'm gonna be as sharp as ever, I'm gonna still be able to move like I do at featherweight, but be as strong as lightweight or even a welterweight. Let me see the People ask, all right, how you doing your meals? How are you keeping up when I was doing the 4,000 calorie, 4, 5,000 that calorie diet? How are you doing it? This is how you do it. Lucky the boy's been hooking me up. I don't have much that much time in the day to be cooking five big meals a day. Yeah, this camp for Volk was all about maintaining strength, so he was eating anywhere from four to 5,000 calories, sometimes even more on his bigger training days during camp. So a lot of calories going in, but the whole goal of it was to maintain that strength that usually comes down when we cut down to featherweight. The really cool thing about staying at lightweight is that Volt gets to maintain all that strength, power, explosiveness throughout all of the camp. He'll maintain all of that as we go through the fight week and as we go into the fight. So it's gonna be really, really awesome to see. Volk is one of the strongest athletes I've ever worked with. So this has been a really cool camp doing this little game plan where we just optimize his strength even more. See, you're gonna to start to see this start to come down. We're gonna really focused on that that strength uh, wrestling and all that type of stuff all of that you know all the them things that we wanted to work on and wanted to get really good on we, we've got there now now it's about bringing that old alex and putting everything else together we added what we wanted to now we're going to get that fast good movement um that sharp alexander volkanovsky that everyone's used to Grappling him, wrestling with him, stuff like that. His movement, his hips and everything, I can tell a big difference in his movements and how he goes about just his daily training. Uh, it's extremely difficult in a lot of these positions to where it didn't used to be that way. Um, so credit to Alex and credit to his, uh, his s and coach for what they've been able to do. Three, four. I'm looking forward to see how, how I start to move here on out. Obviously still moving great for, for them extra kilos, but I can only imagine what I'm going to be like uh, once I start losing a few. So I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be a good result this, this fight. Uh, it's going to be a game changer for me and can't wait to prove some of these doubters wrong. So let's get in it.
He's always been strong, um, but this camp, I think he's. Frankie! What, Joe? I'm right here. This fucking song. I, I can't. I can't help you, Joe. I'm not in here. I've told you if this song comes back on, you're never going to put a playlist on ever again. The phone's on the chalkboard. Just hit the next button. It's on the playlist, and I put on hip hop, Joe. I don't know how this ended up on there. I don't. But I've warned you, Frankie. Joe, it's on. We've got rules in this gym. It's on the chalkboard. Just There's hit... no country or western music allowed in here. That's fine, big fella. How are you? Good. Um, before I was getting sprayed up by that old senile cunt.